Greetings, Neo2 Guru here, and here's how to easily beat Yatsu no Kami, otherwise known as the Snake Oi Demon. There are three different snakes to deal with for the majority of the fight. The main yellow headed one, and its two sidekicks either side of it. What we will do is target these two first, so they don't interfere with the next phase in the Dark Realm. You'll want to wait for the move where the main snake buries the other two in the ground. When this happens, run to the side of one of the smaller snakes and use a high stance heavy attack to damage it as much as you can. I'm using an Odachi. Then back away until you bait the snake into the same move again. You'll see a few other moves while at range, such as its first attack, but this is easily avoided by running to the side as it comes towards you. It's also a good time to get another heavy hitting donkey as it glides past. Keep focusing on both of the smaller snakes until they are near death. The reason for this is because in the next phase, they fall off the main snake and come for you. The goal is to lower their health as much as possible so they are easier to deal with when they are moving freely. Doing this this way in fact means you'll kill one of them before the next phase even starts. When its stamina bar has been depleted, it will call the Dark Realm. Your first job here is to finish off the snakes that have now fallen to the floor. You should only have one to deal with to make it less of a pain. You can use ranged attacks to make it easier to kill also. Once the two smaller snakes are dead, the main one is easier to deal with. It is mostly the same moves as the previous phase. The only difference now is that it comes towards you more often, but we will use this to our key advantage. Let it slither your way, and when within range, use a heavy attack to damage its yellow hairdo. The yellow will turn to black, and it will retreat. Don't worry if your swing misses when it's heading towards you, as you'll still have time to block its first attack. Repeat this pattern for the rest of the Dark Realm phase. Create distance from it so it comes towards you, and then high stance, heavy attack to damage it enough to force it to retreat. The most annoying of its range attacks is the flying dagger attack. You can roll through them safely. I just bumbled it in this example. Once the Dark Realm phase is gone, the main snake will summon the two smaller ones again, and you can repeat the process from the first phase. Another one of its moves you'll see often is the poison spit attack, but this is harmless as long as you don't enter the green circle. Obviously you can use your yokai shift at any time to help you along the way. It would probably be best to use it as soon as the Dark Realm appears, so you can kill the smaller snake straight away with no problems. And that's pretty much all there is to it. Subscribe for more Neo 2 boss guides and tips, and click the video at the end to watch my failed disciple Frostgar try and beat the game himself. He's a loser, so he probably won't follow my guides. But you will, won't you?
As usual, everything the guru does look, makes, it, looks, makes it look easy, but it's totally stupid as usual, his tactic. I think I'm gonna use my tactic, which is just summon people. The ghoul faces, they come through the wall and insta-pode. I don't wanna follow his guide, I'm just gonna call for his help. 